Hi, I'm Captain Larry Bell with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. Down on Panther Point, Panther Reef, all this area back up in here. The reefs are still producing fish, folks. They're still holding fish. It's been hot. These fish are jumping off on these reefs in that deeper edges, holding off there in a little bit deeper water. Anywhere early, you can get them on top of the reef in that foot and a half, two foot of water. But as that sun rises, you're wanting to find these things probably around five foot, six foot of water possibly. Throw a darker down south, get a probably a quarter inch jig head, get that bait down there to them. Suspended bait's not been doing too bad. The Meridines have worked pretty good. The Burner Shads have worked pretty good. Uh, Marker 54 Jerk Shrimp have worked pretty good. There's not any one particular thing that has just been great, great, but there's been several different things that have produced. Ayers Reef as well. Again, a shell. Shell's the theme here, folks. Shell, shell, shell. Find the shell, you'll find fish. Find bait working on top of that shell, you're going to find fish. Throw your darker down south. Throw a topwater early because you're going to have to get there early in the morning. These fish, the bite is really good before sun up. You know, if you're on the spot by 545, 6 o'clock, 615, while it's still nice and dark, you're going to catch your fish because they're going to be hanging in that nice cool water waiting for that bait to come through there, and that's what they're wanting to do. Rattlesnake Point. All this area out here, it does have some shell on it. There's nice, cool water that's pushing through these little islands that are out here. They're all separated out that are underwater. Of course, our water has been dropped out here lately, so those things are going to reveal itself. So just proceed cautiously as you come in through there. Pete's Bend, all the way back into here. There's some areas back in there that you can wade. It's a little soft here and there, but it is wadeable. You can get in there. You can throw your top waters up in there early, and you'll have some early success with it. But then as that sun, again, as it rises... Start to look for your deeper water, look for your fish around that deep shell. Swan Lake Shoreline, all the guts that come in here off this deeper water. Fish this deep edge right there on that grass line. It's all in that two, two and a half to five foot range. Darker down south has been doing good. Marker 54 Mullet Run has done really good through here. Uh, your jerk shrimps as well. Mirrodines have worked well here. There's some nice trout that are hanging on this. Find some bait that's working. You'll find your fish up underneath that just be patient with them. There's a bunch of little ones you're going to have to go through. You, you know, you'll have fun catching them, but there are some quality box fish that are hanging up underneath there. This little cut through that comes through here off of Dunham, coming from north of Aransas into Carlos, the old intercoastal that runs right here, nice deep water. It gets really deep in there. There's a lot of current that runs through there at different times of the day. A lot of shells stacked up right here on this edge. There's nice, weightable, hard bottom. Get your darker down south, your mirrodines, shrimp, all this area right in here. And just sit there on that edge. When it starts getting hotter during the middle of the day, work the edge of that thing. Incorporate you a major or minor during that time frame as well. You will find very good success catching some fish hanging off that deeper water. Thanks for watching. I'm Captain Larry Bell.